welcome back to Let's Play Close Your Eyes. Last off, we left off. We had this song. This song that is all too good. It's just actually here. Is this another one of the stations that train notice mentioned earlier? Is this even real? So this is, what, Jim Mapode number five, I believe it's called? It almost looks like an insect, or a cocoon. Stationary lightning. A lightning round. I get it. The skull is unbelievably huge. For a spider to hang out that up in webs, it must be even bigger. I don't want to think about that. I want to think about big spiders. I do really like this song. I mean, it's open, open source, obviously, hence the uh, use of it. It's gone now. Now we got spoopy, spoopy moves, music. Now we got something quite sinister. So those random things on the on the benches that have yet to do anything, and at this point, I don't expect to do anything. So. I'm not that worried about them. There's a lot of them, but I'm not that worried about them. They're just hanging out, resting. In the blood hallway. Eight men hung to dry. Seven were sinful, one was a lie. You are the jury and the judge. You must lift this everlasting grudge. Okay. He found a loose dollar to his luck. He figured, hey, it's just a buck. What? What are little, little poems here? She admired her friend, she did. She wanted to live and experience her life, she hid. Okay. He watched the rapist execution on the screen. This son of a bitch had it coming, he beamed. She lowered herself quietly into the fridge. Oh. She had eaten a lot, but maybe if she had just a smidge. Oh, I'm starting. Okay, seven. It's the seven deadly sins. I get it. So boy had fallen into the river, it seemed. She decided not to get up. It was not a responsibility, she deemed. The Lord had asked for them, them for a sacrifice. He gave up his son and hoped it would suffice. Well, that doesn't seem... That last one there doesn't seem to fit the motif. As she moaned and he, she thrust, her partner came in and she cussed. As he looked from him to they, he realized he had better in every way. He was better in every way. Okay, so, yeah, uh, this is pride. Uh, lust. I don't think that it, this, what is this? The Lord is asking for a sacrifice. Yeah, that doesn't seem like anything. Some boy had fallen into the river, seemed, uh, sloth. She ordered herself quietly into the fridge. This is gluttony. He watched the rapist execution on the screen. The son of a bitch had a coming, he beamed. Uh. What would that be? Actually, I'm not sure about this one. She admired her friend, she did. She wanted to to live and experience her life, she hid. That one I'm not sure about either. He found a dollar to his luck. He figured, hey, it's just a buck. I guess that's greed. So these three I'm not too certain about. But out of all of them, this one seems the most out of, like, because sacrifice for, like, asking for a sacrifice, that's something in the Bible and stuff, you know. This I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I'm not, I can't think off the top of my head what these two are, but... Alright, let's read this note again. Eight men hung to dry, seven were sinful, one was a lie. Okay, so one... Yeah, one of these isn't one of the sins, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this one. Does that do anything? A 
Make sure that your answer is just, or else you'll be hanged as you must. Oh, I see now, so I guess I selected that one. And now we're gonna do... We're gonna... F we're gonna end how we escaped, or what we escaped from, I guess. Find the righteous noose and pull. Are you ready to just tie the noose around your neck? Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, alright. Oh god. Everybody hung themselves. <laughs> and we're back. How are you all doing? Of course he's not dead though. And it looks like we have a surprise guest. Don't be shy, huh? We've been waiting for you. Do you want to know a secret? What? Excuse me? Uh, uh, the only thing I can think of is that one girl who's like, Yo, if you want to kill me, you can totally do that. Yeah, kinda. A little bit. You were just giving her what she wanted. Thinking about it, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, she kind of really kind of put the idea in our head that, Yeah, you know what? It will be fine to kill you, and I guess I will. That, though, I don't fully agree with. We didn't have to kill her still. Despite how much she was pushing and saying like, Oh, it'll be fine, totally. Like, we still made the choice to do that. This again, man? here to not be in the dark too long. Yo, who was that? Who be that? Why does the lighting look a bit weird here? It's like this little part is slightly brighter than anything else. I don't know, this is a weird thing. It almost made me think that there was something to the right there. Will you stay with me? Whoa. This seems important. I don't know if I want to stay here. Don't you love me anymore? Why are you being so mean to me? I need you. You need me. Don't you? I was all alone before you showed up. After Mom died. But Mom left me something. She left us something. It's up to us to bring Mama back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we doing... Look. It's a taboo in alchemy. I, I don't think I can take part in this. All it requires is some sacrifice. No! You don't know what you're doing. I'm sorry. I make you do most of the work. Do you hate me? Sorry. Sorry! Please don't be mad at me. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. You can use me. However you want. I just want to be of use. Please. <laughs> All right. 
Um, oh, well, this is a bit different. Don't. That's wasn't something I expected to have some kind of in that was outside of the actual game itself that little prompt to click on well obviously you guys saw it but it's like whoa hang on now okay I can just hit enter just something is telling me to go the opposite direction of where those prompts show up it just seems like a good idea Though I also have no idea what the hell I'm looking for. Hey, there's a bench. That does nothing. Or a desk, <laughs> I suppose that was. It wasn't exactly a bench. There was no giant, weird, bug-looking thing. This music's only a bit unsettling, you know? Only, only getting a little bit of not good vibes from this. I have no idea where I'm going, man. Oh, crap! Oh, it's because I already activated that don't leave me section. <laughs> and I happen to walk back to it. Whoops! Oh. Okay. Right. So, it only takes one time to activate the spook points. And that was one hell of a loud noise. Definitely caught me off guard. Now my only problem now is I'm not too sure where I'm going. A lot of the same hallway going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and do not. Ah, oh, God, this is everywhere! Where am I going? Did I end up in a similar area again? Was there something I missed here? Was there a hint as to where I'm supposed to go? Oh. Maybe... Maybe these weird chairs. Okay. No, we're not chairs. Desks. Damn it. You don't sit on those. So I found the right area before, I just didn't think to go down that hallway. Okay, that was my own doing. This is a little bit enclosed, don't you think? It's making me feel kind of nervous. Because we're in kind of a tight hall- OH DEAR GOD! Run? This is as fast as I could go. Oh, jeez, man. It's gonna be great when I have to hit left, and my left button on my keyboard is kind of not great. So I'm not looking forward to that. I hope I don't have to hit left at any point. Don't make me hit left. No! Okay, we're good. That could have been the end of everything. Yo, this thing's f oh, jeez. No, not left. Left is a problem. I may have screwed up already. I don't know. This is looking pretty bright. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm touching walls, man. Okay, I think we're good. There's a lot of- oops, I did not mean to save there. Oh, well. Come to me, my little marshmallow. Come and rescue me. I've been waiting so patiently, but the time is near at hand. I've carved your name in my flesh. Don't do that. That's not good for you. That's a lot of words. 
The feeling as I peeled back layers of skin and tissue was its own form of ecstasy. Oh. I fantasized it was you scratching out my innards, but it wasn't. I want you to know how much I love you. I want you to kiss and taste the blood that cometh from what you inflict on me every day. You're doing that to yourself? You'll do that for me, right? No. I want you to feel my tangible love. Simon is dirty. I want you to scrub me clean. Alright, Simon. Simon, you gotta calm down, Simon. Your fetishes are a little bit overbearing. It's a bit much. Was there a thing in the darkness, or am I crazy? Is this a heart? That's definitely a heart. I really don't like these tight hallways. Like, this is very... Because where can I go? <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, what? That could have been... <laughs> That's impossible! I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm manly. Oh, little marshmallow. Of course I knew you were seeing other people. You can't hide these things from me. But you don't have to threat, little marshmallow. I'll make sure no one can come between us. I won't let them. Simon is forever yours. Oh man, are we hearing things again? I don't like this. So how long? How long must the hallway of doom be? Doom is scary. Uh oh, little marshmallow. I saw you just a moment ago. Oh crap. I'm so excited I can hardly hold it in. Please, little marshmallow. Please keep going. Please, oh please. Don't stop. Please. Oh, little marshmallow. Simon can't hold up much longer. Simon. You're expressing a lot of emotion in these notes. <laughs> It's a bit... How are you doing this? Jump. What? Jump. Is it telling me to jump? jump. Jump where? Jump. 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 I can do it too. Oh, okay, I see how to examine it. Where's the earth shattering kaboom? Why is it so dark always? <laughs> Uncomfortably always dark. Entered hell. Dear Valerie, did you think you'd get away with it? Did you take delight to thinking to yourself, oh, let's try a fast one on dumb old Simon? Did the thought you might have outsmarted Simon excite you? Did you perhaps do the dirty and pleasure yourself over that? Oh, Valerie. Valerie, Valerie. My dear Valerie. I, of course, knew when you became hesitant to give me kisses, my dear. You were bringing someone between us. You wish to dirty your core. Pulsating, yearning, thump, thump. Simon knows. That's why Simon must punish you, dear Valerie. You are so delicate, unspoiled. You hurt me, Valerie. You were like a pure, glistening flower. I'll make it so your beauty can shine on, Valerie. I'll get rid of all that which soils you. First will be your eyes. I will take my thumbs and wiggle them around in your sockets. Squish them into mush. A fine paste. I'll lick away the liquids that pour out of your eyeballs like overflowing tears. Simon! Simon, please! Man, no wonder he's into cutting. This dude's violent. I wonder what the virtuous or uh, aqueous humor tastes like. I have no idea what the hell that word is. Is that such a funny name for it? 
May we possibly in this moment just sit back and laugh at how silly a name that is? But don't stir too much, dear Valerie, or else the next part may be more painful than it has to be. Of course, it may be me that's trembling. You know how excitable I am. But the pain you may feel from my shakes and quivers is out of my love for you. With each sharp needle of pain and hot pulsating sore you may feel, that's my love, Valerie. I want you to feel my love. When you can no longer see for what you've sinned, then I will get to work on making sure you can never reach out to sin again. I'm going to dissect your arms, dear Valerie. Do you know how many nerves are in an arm, my dear? I want to open you up, let your inner warmth flow over me, and I want to give you a treat for the senses. I'll be delicate, my dear Valerie, as I begin to poke and pull at your nerves and veins. I want every nerve, every part of your arm to feel the bliss of my love before a snip, I cut them open. One by one. Snip, snip. And then to saw through the bone. Before you know it, your arms will be gone. And that's almost enough. You have almost felt the pain of what you brought upon me, my dear Valerie. But we must scrub away the sin. I think you know where, dear Valerie. You need to stop yearning for him. He's already dead. He won't come between us again. At least, he won't once I've scrubbed you down thoroughly. So you'll never crave for the flesh again, my dear. Until then, scream. Scream, dear Valerie. Scratch at the walls. Claw with your beautiful fingers at the dirt and rock. Maybe someone will hear you. Maybe you'll find a way out I overlooked. Maybe I'm just lying to you. Maybe I didn't kill your perverted little boyfriend either. I'm coming for you, Valerie. Maybe you can still get away. So what? Did, did he ever actually capture her? Was she? Is she indeed dead in a basement somewhere? Did he follow through? Man. Simon. <laughs> You're a little bit screwed up, ain't you, buddy? A little bit demented. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Oh dear little Marshmallow, I'm just up ahead. You may want to find me before dear Valerie comes around. She's as of late had quite the temper tantrum. Was that her? Yo. That was Valerie, that's screwed up dude. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. If you enjoyed your time here, be sure to hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see the next episode, go ahead and click or tap here. If you want the entire playlist for this series, click or tap here. And if you're new here and want to catch my future videos, click or tap on the circular icon here. Alright, remember, you're the bomb.